Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy of the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. We're on uh, the hand of the Prophet, the personal okay. airship of uh, Comstock himself. And we're uh, trying to get to the man, but first we need to go through uh, a veritable horde of enemies here. Just gonna take out the machine gun turret over there. And let the mosquito deal with the rest. Maybe he's gonna kill something, who knows? He, might, he just might. No, he didn't. He didn't. I don't think. I don't think you're going after me. This is a pretty big airship, so uh, it has several levels and every time we'll need to uh, clear the skylines to proceed. Hello. I think he didn't expect me to come around the corner. Shoot me. There we go. I think that's it for now. But there's still a machine gun over there, but... You know what? Let's take it. Okay. Okay. Keep missing. Oh. Jesus, where the hell do these guys keep coming from? That came from... Over there? Oh, it's coming from over here. It's coming from over here. Oh, that sounds like another turret. What up? Okay. Oh god, oh god, don't have any cover. And executions are plenty. So let's go back to possession and possess that thing. Thank you, Elizabeth. Oh, I can't, I can't fire through the window there. Just gonna. I think, I think you forced mine, but hey. You know what? That's all I have. Oh, there goes one. And there goes another one. I'm gonna let the turrets fire at each other. That's 100 salts. I'm not gonna use that to just... You got this? Yeah, you got this. And I'm really sorry about this, but you don't commit suicide when you're done, so... Let me do the pleasure. Um, so this is the first floor, pretty easy to go through. But I'm gonna try and, well, clear out everything from loot. Because uh, there's quite a bit of, of it around here. So give me a second. So, I think I cleared out okay. every area. The skylines lead up to the next deck. So there we go. If we clear the line of those pods, we could use them to gain access to the upper deck. So let's clear the skyline then. This should clear up. There we go. I have seen the seeds of fire that will prepare the Sodom below for the coming of the Lord. But it will not be I who carries that banner of the hill. That job falls to you, Elizabeth. That job falls to you. To you. The skyline is clear, Booker. That job falls to you, Elizabeth. So uh, we know that already, because Comstock is, of course, very, very sick. He has cancer. On our land stands the false shepherd. And the other? The, other? the remnants of the heretical Vox Populus. Which one of you men will not gladly go to his reward to see her safely to her destiny? Rejoice! Rejoice! Death has no station! Death has, I think death has a pretty, pretty uh, obvious sting, but um, next step, next deck, don't damn it, give me a second. Yeah, I have a confession to make. We uh, just recently bought a cat and she's kind of wrecking the place at the moment. So I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have to uh, pause this every once in a while to keep that little rascal in check. But, enemies, here we go. Jesus, he's not dying, is he? There we go. That's four of them. 
there anybody close by? Hello? So uh, Comstock was riling up these men to try and uh, murder us. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was in the back. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did he jump off? Okay. That was uh, pretty easy. I mean, the fights against Lady Comstock were harder, Comstock. Your dead wife did a better job than you did. So, let's take a look around and, uh, yeah, because there's a few locked areas here. So, let's open this Elizabeth. up. I'll give it a whirl. Because there's uh, quite a few interesting areas. So, below decks was the, uh, well, the, the, the general population deck. So, that's where the soldiers lived. You can see, you could see a cafeteria and uh, the likes of that. And then we have this place, which is where they assembled the motorized Patriots. So, there's even a crank gun over here. Might actually try that out a bit. A bag of silver eagles, which doesn't actually contain all that much silver eagles, all that many silver eagles, but uh, it's something at least. And then if we keep going, we have a few heads, but I think there's another voxophone in here, if I'm not mistaken, which happens from time to time. So there we go, voxophone. Our contraption shows us the girl is the flame that shall ignite the world. My brother says we must undo what we have done. But time is more an ocean than a river. Why try to bring in a tide that will only again go out? Why bring in a tide that will only again go out? So that's uh, Lutessa's view on time, that it's very, very fluctuating, not uh, a river, a straight line but rather than uh, an ocean in which things flow from one direction and the other without uh, stopping. So let's lockpick lock this no thing problem. as well. So three uh, lockpicks. And All done. there might actually be one over here, although I see a piece of gear. Ooh, RPG. Well, now it's, I'm feeling like I have all the RPG trophies, but not the, the minigun trophy. So, I'm going for the trophy, and this is probably one of the best pieces of gear in the game. So, Winter Shield. Jumping to or from Skyline grants brief invulnerability. So, what do I need to swap that with? Oh, perfect. Perfect! I'm gonna equip that. So, that means that every time we jump on a Skyline, we become invulnerable for a few seconds. And every time we jump off a Skyline, we also become invulnerable for a few seconds. So uh, that's very, very powerful uh, defense-wise. Um, there doesn't seem to be another Voxophone in here. A lot of cotton candy and the likes. Appreciate Who appreciates value. value, yeah. So that's the same thing the Circus of Value uh, said in uh, Bioshock 1 and 2. But let's see what we can do. I'm actually going to show you that. So Winter Shield activates every time we do this. And every time we do this. There we go, there we have a uh, winter shield. Is it only when we drop off? Because it takes quite a while, as you can see. Because it's building down now. And there it goes completely. So every time we drop from a skyline, There's the launch panel. that Let's happens. Get those pods off the lines. I think this one is going to be a bit harder. Um, did I check everything up here? I think I did, actually. There's a few weapons over here, which is good to know. And I don't think these things are rooms. No, they're just drop areas for the motorized patriots so let's push the button let's 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 just uh, push the button there we go because i think that now drops oh that's a vox populi sky ship so slowly i don't know have to wait out. because of the gameplay elizabeth because of the gameplay one quarter of the pods ejected that's all. So I'm gonna take the fight to them. Where is he? There he is. Oh, he just. Where the hell did he go? Oh, I'm out of uh, 
I'm out of bullets. Watch out for the barge. Get round him. Uh, missing buttons again. Three quarters. It sure is taking his time. Ah, this isn't a problem. Oh, that's a motorized bait here. Um, uh, I'm just gonna use the skyline now. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, indeed. Briefly invulnerable. Briefly invulnerable. There we go. Oh, there he is. Wait, are there two of them? So there we go. Oh, God. Oh god, that was a miss. Come on, gimme, gimme. I know you're throwing them. Appreciate it. And then uh, There we go. Okay. So that means I can actually fill up my crank gun again. Because that's why I wanted to kill these guys. Because you're not really forced to kill them. Since they uh well, you can just use the skyline to get to the upper deck, but I really like to clear things out. And that was actually not so bad, so... Let's go... Up here and fill up my salts with something I can find. So give me a second. So there we go, salts filled up, and now we're able to uh, go to the next floor. So let's try I may be the one who strikes you down, DeWitt. But you've always had a knack for self-destruction. Self to say you won't beat me to the punch. To the punch. You've always had a knack for self-destruction. Who who's to say you don't beat me to the punch? Enter third deck interior and leave the area. So it sounds like Comstock really, really knows Booker. So he might be something, someone uh, from Booker's past, since he also fought in the same war. So let's leave. One more deck. Let me take care of this on my own. No, I'm going with you. So now we're on the interior of the ship. We're not gonna go outside anymore for now. So uh, let's keep going. Because I know there's a few tougher enemies ahead. A few tougher fights. If you uh, want to put it that way. Um, there's a few soldiers over there. But I think... Go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Damn it. There's a rocket automaton here. I want to activate. Because as you can hear, you might have seen the, the screen shake over there. And execution. So there's the uh, handyman electrocuting. Uh, I'm just gonna bear the brunt of his uh, attacks here. I'm gonna... <laughs> so that's the sound that he's gonna electrocute the uh, skyline. I'm gonna have to be careful about that. There we go. Shotgun to the chest. Yeah, there he goes. Well, 
Where the hell is that coming from? Oh, there he goes. Sounds like there's another... Oh yeah, there's another one. Another turret. Well, the first turret against me though. I'm just gonna jump off here again so I have another shield. Are they gonna come on the skylines? Because I would really like it if it did that. No? I'm just gonna try and find another weapon since I'm out of uh, crank gun bullets anyway. Um, salts are always nice. I'm gonna use the health kit and then we have a selection of weapons to choose from. Volley gun. Nah, let's go for the carbine. I'm still in love with the carbine. So uh, let's keep it at that. And then there we go. Now we got the shield when we jump on. Let's jump down. And then I think if I just use possession, I'm still invulnerable. So there we go. If I do it for both of them. Oh no, that switches them out actually. That is interesting. I don't have it. That was not what I wanted to do, but let's possess that one again. And then go with return to Sandy and take out that one. Those. Ah, there we go. Is he killing them or. Nope, he's not. He definitely not killing them. Reload! Show some spine, milksop! Yet. I'm actually gonna just use this ball of bullets. Salts, catch! Uh, nope. Where is he? Oh, there he is. You wanna have that in the face? Yeah, there we go. Take this. And catch it after I used that. There we go. And he got a bit of salts for me as well. So, um, I think I'm just gonna head to the end of the area here. Oh, and there's even a piece of gear here. Let's look at that. Pyromaniac, when struck, 50% chance to burn nearby enemies. Victims take 400 damage over 3 seconds. It's gonna take it, not the... I'm not gonna switch that out for Winter Shield. Now that I've got it, I almost, for, I almost thought I didn't... I wasn't gonna get it, because I missed it somewhere. Winter Shield, I thought it was uh, earlier in the game that you got that, but apparently not. We still keep getting a uh, lock pixel, though there aren't that many doors left, if I'm correct. We can take that skyline to the Prophet's cabin. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth, for that uh, useful piece of information. And it sounds like there's, yeah, there's another uh, shop over here. So let's open that up. And take the Silver Eagles. It's poking through the floor again. I think I'm not gonna buy any Need money? upgrades again. Catch, yeah. Mr. DeWitt. Might actually use that in a second if I find another machine. Um, let's go with Bucking Bronco and return to center again and get on the uh, skyline. Going outside again. You've come to wipe your slate clean, false shepherd. But time will walk backwards before you find redemption. Some sins can't be forgiven. Time will walk backwards. That's a very weird statement to uh, use, isn't it? Because uh, we've... Well, especially since this game is all about alternate dimensions and timelines, so uh, let's go inside and see what's uh, what's about to happen. Here we go. And there we have Elizabeth's tower. This is my tower. What's this? A siphon. I saw this there. I could hear you singing from above. And the machine came to life in response. And then in my mother's grave, there was a smaller one. They were draining me. Maybe that's why I can't. Can't what? When I was little, I used to be able not just to open tears, but I could create new ones to anywhere I wanted to go. But in the tower... There we go. Yes, I'll be right with you. So, Elizabeth's Tower, we already assumed that, was a giant... Is Oh, was. It's destroyed. So, it was a giant siphon, so... As long as Elizabeth was in the tower, her power was drained, causing her to uh, have only limited access to her full potential. Because as she just mentioned to us now, she used to be able to not only open tears, but create new ones, sort of uh, her wish fulfillment. So we have the word of the prophet at uh, Battleship Bay. So that's, I think, the First Lady airship is the word of the prophet. Although, 
The word of the prophet, how? Because that's a destroyed tower and then Battleship Bay and then things. So that's our journey, if you look at it. So the tower, then Battleship Bay, then Finkton. And then we had Elizabeth stabbing Fitzroy, Comstock House. And this is the last panel. So it seems like the prophet has made one more prediction. And it seems to be going uh, the way he wants it to go. So let's go through Stand this back. door. I'm ending this. Booker, no. This is between me and him. You are walking into a trap. I need to do this. Come we're, here, uh, but we're coming along oh, for this. On, I don't bite. My, oh my, how you have grown. Hello, Comstock. Tell me, what am I? Look at you, child. You're hey, a mess. Hey, let go of her. Elizabeth? Everything I've done, I've done to keep you safe. Safe from what? The seed of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. But the archangel revealed something else. Beware, prophet. Beware the false shepherd Booker DeWitt, for he shall be as a wall between her and destiny. Why? DeWitt, I'm a fool. I've set mighty armies to stop you. I've rained fire on you from above. I did all of that to keep you from her when all I needed was to tell her the truth. Ask him, child. Ask him what happened to your finger. Ask DeWitt. Let go of me. Ask him. Ask, Ask the DeWitt false shepherd. Tell what her. happened to tell your her finger. Her and now tell her the truth. we're going to intervene. <laughs> She's your daughter, you son of a bitch! And you abandoned her! Oh, was it worth it? Huh? Did you get what you wanted? Booker. Tell me! Booker! Tell me! It is finished. <laughs> Nothing is finished! Booker! You lock her up for her whole life! Booker! You cut off her finger and you put it on me! Booker, <laughs> stop it! I think it's too late. You killed him. Yeah, that's what you wanted, right? What did he mean? Huh? You tell me, what did he mean about my finger? I don't know. Yeah, I... I just assumed you were born with that. I, I don't know. Your nose. It's bleeding. What? Elizabeth, I swear to you, I have no idea what he was talking about. You do. You just can't remember it. No. I'll prove it to you. We'll destroy the siphon. The answer's behind one of your doors. You just have to open destroy it. Destroy the siphon? It's the entire tower, Booker. How are we gonna do that? I don't know. But I'll think of something on the way. I'll think of something on the way, but... You do know, Booker, you're just not remembering. And our nose was bleeding, so that... That kind of fits with what is happening. We somehow have... History with Elizabeth, we just don't remember because our nose was bleeding, which means we were starting to remember a different reality, a different dimension. So Booker might have not been in the same place he was when we started the game. So before I'm going to talk about this any further, uh, maybe the last thing is that, of course, the Prophet really did a good job in uh Comstock did a really good job in uh predicting this because of course that was the scene we just got um Comstock over his uh his little bowl of water so um yeah sorry Comstock you're dead but that's not the end of the game we still need to find out what happened what's the connection between Booker and Elizabeth how where are the Latessas coming from how are they doing all of this and, uh, yeah, let's try and find out behind this, uh, well, stained glass, lovely picture of Elizabeth with a lot of uh, children. Because she is the future of this city. I need some help with this. But the city is going to ruin, so we're kind of destroying all of that. And now Elizabeth isn't even saying anything anymore, so... Gage, Gage, I'm, I'm, I'm missing something. 
They said they knew what was best for us. Okay. They said they knew what was coming next. Okay. Did you see this coming? And there's the books. Okay, we gotta get ready. I think they mean to board us. <gasps> you ain't gonna place your daughter it's on the road. And that's why the cage is going into play. So she's gonna I, whack. No. What are you doing? I, we have to sing to him. Sing to who? Elizabeth, stop C -A -G -E. it. C-A-G-E. It's not a word, Booker. It's a song. Yeah. C-A-G-E. It's the song we'll need to uh, gain control of songbirds. And this is where things is gonna are gonna get really awesome. Will you help me? I need you to protect me. Will you do it? Will you do this for me? Just, just this one last thing. Please. Go, 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 go! Booker, he'll help us. We can use him against the box fleet. 